So I spent a day building this app and within hours of releasing it, things just exploded. Okay, let's back up for a minute. I'm Zorbeck, programmer and head of growth at a startup, but one day I would like to create my own company. I had this idea about an app that teaches people how to code in a fun way. I posted on Reddit to get some feedback and it blew up. The next day, I started building it. First, we need to know what our platform will look like. I already have some ideas there. Back when I was in college two years ago, I tried building some education apps that are pretty similar to this one, so we can take inspiration from that. I also looked at the websites that people recommended on Reddit, and there is one that caught my attention, Coding Game. It's actually very similar to the idea I had in mind. Oh, that's crazy. Our first obstacle. One difference though with my idea is that I imagined the game to be on the right side and the code editor to be on the left side. Not bad, huh? Can we get serious now? The biggest difference that I actually see is that they seem to be more of a practice platform where you just do a lot of different challenges versus us, I imagine, as being a fully guided learning journey that takes you from a point A, let's say you want to learn a specific language, you start as a beginner and it takes you to the end destination, your goal of being an advanced um, student or an advanced like practitioner or how do you say, an advanced expert of that, of that language. They do a little bit of that, but I think there's an opportunity to do a much better job. Now that we're clear on that, let's start specking our app. I won't go in details here, I'll just mention the major functionalities. We need to be able to load a coding challenge, to write code and execute it. So we need a code editor, we need to visualize the game, and we need some navigation to progress step by step in the game. Next, we'll pick our tools. The text tag we're going to use is a popular one. React for the front end, GraphQL for the API, Hasura for the back end, and PostgreSQL for the database. I want to go fast and try to build our web app in less than 24 hours. To get started quickly, we'll use the Create React App Starter project. It allows us to set up our environment with only one command. That's perfect for us. Okay, so here's the command. I'm going to just write this down. Create React App. Now we need a name. Uh, let's call it Game Coding. Just to avoid making it too similar to Coding Game. And run this. It's gonna install a bunch of things that would have to do it all manually if we're not using Create React App, but thank God we have the solution. That's it, we're done. Now you go inside that folder, game coding, and you run the app you have. So Create React App will create a basic page like this, and it will also initialize your project structure. So now we can get started with coding. React is a super powerful JavaScript library to build user interfaces. We'll use it to create a basic UI to mimic that sketch I drew. The screen will be divided in two columns, the code editor and the game frame. Setting up the layout is easy, it only takes a few minutes. The hard part comes next. The challenge for this project really is the code editor that is running inside of the browser. So we need to be able to write code inside of it in a convenient manner and we need to be able to execute it. Building it from scratch in one day would be too much for us to do. Uh, actually, it would be impossible. But thankfully, I found a solution. Code Mirror. This beautiful looking module is the key to this project. I installed it and this is what I have so far. The image on the right is just a placeholder before we create our own game. This is the magical code editor. So you can see the color highlights properly. There is indentation. It seems pretty nice. I think that gets the job done. Right now what is missing though is that you can't execute any code. So you can just write in a proper manner. What we need to do next is the ability to execute the code. The trick I'm using to go fast is to run the user's code directly in the browser. Issue is that it very easily breaks right now. One typo from the user is enough to break the entire app. So I need to figure out a way to catch those errors and handle them. What you see here is me attempting a pro gamer move. The legend says that if you stare at the screen long enough, the code can fix itself. It's absolutely false, it never happens. Huh? Did you hear me? Never mind. It did give me some ideas though that I was able to implement. Okay, so we just finished the big milestone of the app, which is the ability to execute some code. So this is how it works. You have some code, you have this button now. You click and you see the result is printed right below. Boom. So what is missing here is, um, well, an actual coding challenge with instructions and the game visuals, the game narrative. We can't keep using this. We'll have to create our own design. I'm no game design scientist, but I'll try to come up with something decent. I have some design experience, like nothing too serious, just as a hobby since I was a teenager, I've been designing and drawing stuff. And right now I'm working on creating a manga in my free time too. So I could try to do something decent. My fear though is that if I want a proper game design, that's gonna take too long. Like that could take an entire day, at least just that by itself. And we don't have that time. 
So we'll go in simple mode. This means stickman characters and mostly black and white colors. I'll reveal the game I designed once I finish implementing the app. You will see that soon. Okay, now back to our app. So we kind of have all the pieces. We have the game visuals, we have the story with the coding challenges, and we have the base layout of our app. Now it's time to bring them all together. My back hurts, my eyes are sleepy, my brain is depleted, and my body dehydrated. But I cannot stop. I have to keep going. Never give up! I'm setting up a backend and a database with Hasura to be able to dynamically pull our game in the app. Then, like an artist finishing his piece, I'm adding the final polishing touches. Not happy with the painting and if, if it's not going just the way you want it. You know, over and over again I say, we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. This is it, this is the moment, the last keystroke. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the result of our hard work, a gamified platform that teaches people how to code. In this game, the first concept we teach is variables. You take the role of a hero programmer and you got the news that one person in your country has been contaminated by a new virus. But before heading to deal with this virus straight on, you need to do some preparation and define your variables. Then you create a model to evaluate how dangerous the situation is based on the parameters you have. This is when you learn the application of if-else statements. Finally, you utilize the power of four loops to assemble your troops, five of your best ninjas, and you send them to attack. But little did you know, the troubles were just about to begin. Code Red. Everyone from the unit has been infected from the first point of contact, and they are coming back to the main base. You're the only one who can stop them. Are you ready for the challenge? There's still so much improvement we could do. Honestly, it took a lot of shortcuts. This really is a one-day prototype. If we were able to build our app in less than 24 hours, I want us to get 1,000 users in less than 24 hours. Before we can start, we need to give a name to our newborn app. We need a cool name because a cool name will help us with marketing. People will want to learn more. I want something heroic, but I also don't want it to be too generic like heroprogrammer.com. I want something a little bit more original. So I spent some time brainstorming and ultimately I landed on the Last Code Bender. It's a reference to the super popular cartoon Avatar The Last Airbender. Now we need a logo. I like logos that are simple so that it's easy to remember but still unique enough. The logo will just have Last Code Bender, so we'll drop the the. Drop the the, just Facebook. It's cleaner. And then I wanna add some coding elements, so we'll, we'll just add brackets and then add a little bit of style. Okay, I think that works. What do you guys think? All right, next obstacle, if we want to market the app, we need some kind of promotional material. I want us to make a badass video demo because the product looks exciting, so I think there is a nice way to show it in a video. The problem though is that we're limited in time and I want us to get to marketing as soon as possible today, which means we cannot do something that is high production. We'll have to limit ourselves to a homemade style. And for it to work, we need to be creative and we need to be funny. I want to use the opening of Avatar The Last Airbender as a reference. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. The problem that our app is trying to solve is that learning how to code online is mostly boring, but we want to show it in a dramatic way. So what we're going to do is we'll show an evolution of software engineering throughout time, so how it started by just writing code on a piece of paper to where it is today. Long ago, our ancestors would learn how to code on pieces of paper. Then everything changed when the internet came. Technology was supposed to be the answer to make education exciting, but when we needed it most, it failed us. Next, we present our solution, which is like a speedrun clip of our app. Many years passed and I've discovered a new way. A gamified learning platform called The Last Code Bender. The screen is divided in two. On one side, you have the code editor and on the other side, you see the game visual. In the first game, you're a hero programmer tasked to save your country from the threat of a new virus. Courses are designed so that each challenge you solve in the game actually teaches you a programming concept, from variables to conditional statements to loops and objects. What you see here is a prototype that was built in only one day. And although it's a start, imagine what it could soon become. And at the end, we leave the viewers with a hook and a call to action. Sign up for early access at lastcodebender.com to be part of the revolution. All right, perfect. Everything is coming together. We're about to get started with marketing. There's just one step left, 
we need a website. We're gonna go fast though, we'll build it with WordPress. We'll show a video demo there, some text and email sign up form, and just a little bit of context about this project. The app will be in private mode so anyone can sign up for early access, but only a limited number of people will get in. That's it, the preparation is over, the world is finally ready to witness our beautiful creation. Time for phase two of our master plan, Reddit. Reddit is a special place for idea validation and we already have history there, that's where our idea first went viral. The problem is that Reddit absolutely hates self-promotion. Like if there's any sign that you're trying to promote your own product, it doesn't matter, even if it's useful, even if it brings some value to the community, mods are very harsh on self-promotion. So we'll get banned in some subs, that's nearly certain, or, or a post will be taken down, but that's a risk we have to take. Hopefully if we frame it well and really show that there is value for the community, it will minimize the damage. First place where we're gonna post is r slash learn programming. This is where a post went viral, so it kinda makes sense to start there. For the title, I'm thinking of doing something similar to the post we had. It can just be learning to code online suck, so I made a game-like platform to do it differently. I think that works. Then for the body of the post, we'll start by giving a little bit of context, so we'll reference the previous post, we'll link the website, and then we'll give uh, some explanation about how it was built and some plans for the future, and at the end we just ask for feedback. Okay, we're ready to post it. So now for the other subs, the strategy is gonna be a little bit different. I don't know them as well, so first we need to analyze a little bit what are the posts that go viral there, and try to tailor our post based on that. So we'll sort by most popular of all time. There you see that the majority are actually images or memes. And sometimes you see some videos there. I think for us, the best is we have our demo video, so we're gonna just use that instead of using a long text like we had before. Let's try that. We're gonna essentially replicate this process for as many subs as possible. Now we have planted all the seeds, we just need to wait for people to react and post comments. Now in case Reddit doesn't work, we need a backup plan. So time to move to phase three of our master plan. Let's go wild. We'll post it everywhere where developers hang out. So a couple of popular places are Indie Hacker, Hacker News, Twitter, and Product Hunt. All of these are free, so it doesn't cost us anything. But okay, guys, one hour in, and we already have 20 signups. Good start. The very last thing we're gonna try in this video is one strategy that I usually don't like using, Facebook ads and YouTube ads. The reason I don't like using them is that I believe most of the time you can validate your idea and get your first users for free. So I prefer just doing that. But for the sake of this video, what I wanna do is I wanna compare the different channels we're using, so Reddit, different blogs where we posted, and paid advertisement like Facebook and YouTube, and see which channel performed the best. So for Facebook, we're gonna create our page, set up our business manager account. Next, we'll configure our ad set. So essentially, we wanna target anyone from 15 years old to 35 years old. They can live anywhere in the world, and both genders. So we'll update the location, all of North America. Actually, Asia. Let's put Asia as well. For interest, we can add something like computer programming. Actually, even web development. What's nice about Facebook is that you can run the same ad on Instagram as well. The ad essentially will just be the demo video we have, and that's it. Same will be for YouTube. And we click on Publish. Alright, so we'll have this ad running on Facebook and Instagram. Now we're gonna set up the same ad on YouTube. It's very straightforward, you just pick your video. We'll do one of the skippable ads that appear before YouTube video. We configure it, the country, the interest, the age, and then we launch it. All the work has been done. Reddit, Indie Hacker, Hacker News, Twitter, Product Hunt, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads. All the seeds have been planted. We'll harvest the results in a few days. Will we find a forest when we come back? Or will it be a field of dead crops? Stay tuned. It worked. We crossed 1,000 signups in the first 22 hours. And the signups kept increasing, so I let it run for two more days to see how much more we could get. I did run into some problems like getting banned on Reddit, which was our main source of traffic. It brought in more than 1,000 people alone. The second best source of traffic was Facebook, which brought us 113 people at a cost of 18 cents per email. But then everything else we tried essentially flopped. Now if we combine it all together, we got a total of 3,925 visitors, and 1,159 of them signed up. That's a 30% conversion rate on the landing page, which is pretty insane if you think about it. Because that's the kind of conversion rate an optimized landing page would get. But we only spent a few hours working on it, there's still so much to improve. Again, that just shows you, a good idea makes everything easier. But of course, ideas aren't enough, you have to execute them. 
I remember when I was in college, I was so frustrated not being able to build any ideas I had in mind. Learning that became an obsession. If you can learn how to code, design, and market your ideas, you'll become like a wizard in the digital world. And if you use those skills well, you can make a massive impact on society. This is what I want this channel to be about. These types of videos take a long time to create and film and edit, but I hope they're useful. You can subscribe if you want to see more and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. I'll see you guys soon. God bless.